Welcome back to chapter four. This is learning objective number two, preparing adjusting entries for prepayments, example time. Let's start off with an MCQ. Which of the following is not a typical example of a prepaid expense? Consider pausing the video and coming back in just a moment. All right, well, if you said D, salaries aren't typically a prepaid expense, you would be correct. This is one of those most right answers. Supplies, yes, we absolutely uh, debit supplies, credit cash or AP to have our supplies on hand so we can use them to mop up the floors or do whatever we wanna do uh, with supplies. Insurance is typically prepaid uh, a year in advance. We would debit prepaid insurance expense or just prepaid expenses, credit cash. And then over the reflective uh, period of time, as we use the insurance, we would reverse it out or adjust the entries. Rent is typically paid in advance. So mortgage is paid after we incur and then rent is paid in advance. So debit prepaid rent expense or prepaid expenses and credit the cash. Salaries, however, tends to be paid like mortgages after the expense is incurred. So we do not have a prepaid salary expense. All right, let's try something a little bit more involved. Medina Corporation purchased office supplies costing $5,000 and debited the supplies for the full amount. Supplies on hand at the end of the accounting period were $1,300. That means the appropriate adjusting journal entries made would be, consider pausing this video. All right, and if you haven't paused the video or if you're back, welcome back. The appropriate uh, answer would be C. It would be to debit the supplies expense because you want to debit, re recognize an expense of 5,000 less 1,300 of 3,700 and credit supplies. So remove the supplies, uh, the $3,700 worth that we used. <laughs> I don't know about you, um, but I definitely, I was like, why doesn't this journal entry balance? Hint, hint, wrong answer. When a journal entry doesn't balance, uh, it better be for a right reason, meaning I gave you uh, part of the debit up here and then you don't need it down here. But this one was just like a red flag. This is not okay. Um, and then we are buying the supplies. We've already bought them. We have to show what we used. So supplies go down, expense, supplies expense goes up. Uh, therefore, C is the correct answer. All right, one more piece of practice. Okay, and it's one piece, but really it's many. Again, this one I'm gonna really encourage you in just a moment to pause the video, because this will be great for you to kind of work through as one of those intermediary steps before you go to tutorial and before you do your practice problems. So what I'm gonna be asking you to do is here's a series of different types of contracts or items that a company has entered into for this December 31st, 2021 year. And so for each of these, I'd like you to record the journal entry to record the initial transaction and then prepare the adjusting entry required on December 31st. All right, give this video a pause and I'll see you uh, in Excel when we come back. All right, so for Pardon me. All right, so on September the 4th, we are going to, it's a month. So nine months of sponsorship. So we are going to debit the fact that we received cash. Thank you very much in the form of $3,600. And then we have deferred revenue. So it's a deferred sponsorship revenue uh, or just deferred revenue either way. Okay, and that is to reflect that, you know, they want us to do something. They want um, they want to sponsor us. We haven't yet had those games yet, so we haven't been able to earn that revenue. But on December 31st, how many months would have kind of gone by in the, since December, since September 4th, December 31st? Well, we'd have September, full month of September almost, almost full month of September, uh, October, November, December. So we have four months that we have earned because we've had four months worth of gains. So we're gonna debit to reverse that deferred revenue. 
And then we can book our revenue because we've earned it. And how much have we earned? Well, four out of the nine months times by the 3,600. So we can recognize $1,600 worth of that revenue. And how much would be left? Well, on our balance sheet, we'd have 3,600 less 1,600. So we'd still have $2,000 worth of revenue to earn over the next five months in the new year. All right, great work. I'm just gonna move this around a little bit and be right back. All right, so let's look at number four. On sign a contract for cleaning services starting December 1st for $1,000 per month. Okay, we signed a contract. Okay, do nothing there. Ah, but we paid for the first two months on November 30th. All right, so on November 30th, we paid for pre-debit, prepaid cleaning expenses or just prepaid cleaning. And we, how much did we pay? We paid first two months, so that would be two times a thousand dollars. Cool. Wonder if it was that column. Whatever. We will see. And then where do you think the credit is gonna go? All right. So yeah, the credit's gonna be cash because that was cash that went out the door. Cool. So then on December 31st, what is our adjusting entry going to be? Well, on December, in December, we'll have used one full month. So from December 1st to December 31st worth of cleaning. So we're going to have cleaning expense. It might be under some other expense account, but regardless, it'll go to um, the P&L, the profit and loss statement, debit cleaning expense for one month or $1,000 worth, and credit prepaid cleaning because we need to, quote, reverse out part of that prepaid cleaning for the amount um, that we used, which was $1,000 per month, and a month went by. All right, how are you doing? Got one more, number five. On December 5th, we received $1,500 in advance from a gaming club, and it was determined on December 31st that $475 of these games had yet to be played. Okay. Well, we received money on December 5th. So thank you so much. Gonna recognize that cash that came in and that was for $1,500. And then we have deferred revenue because we haven't done anything. We got the money and we're like, thank you so much. Um, we promised to do something with it, but we haven't yet. And then on December 31st, it was determined that $475 had not yet been played. So we need to reverse out our deferred revenue for the amount that we did earn during this time and credit revenue, sponsorship, spawn, oh my gosh, sponsorship, revenue. And let me ask you, how many of you put 475 here? Mm. So 475 has not been earned. We need to reflect the passage of time for what has been earned. So in order to do that, that's going to be the 1500 less 475. So get our 1,025. So that the net of these, what we received less what we earned, 475 has still not been paid, still not yet been played, and is still outstanding as deferred revenue on our balance sheet as at December 31st. All right, how did you do? Any difficulties, post down below on the discussion board and I will see you in the next video where we're gonna be talking about learning objective number three.